So it seems that the whole process really is one of making this shift into a state of loving. It's a shift back to the Garden of Eden shift into a higher dimension. Ultimately it's our choice because free will seems to be uh, a given in the universe. We at our stage of development are aware of ourselves enough to be able to make a conscious choice and we're given by God, by the Creator, Alpha, Omega, free will, the freedom to make our choices. We don't have to go through this shift. But one of the things that seems we need to it seems we need to recognize is that reincarnation is a reality. And that we ourselves in as spiritual beings are eternal. We have an eternal existence and periodically we come into a physical existence which is temporary. So we incarnate into physical existences and we do this time and time and time and time again. Reincarnating into whatever physical existence is appropriate for us. And although in uh, the West, on Earth, uh, we, we tend not to believe the idea of reincarnation, perhaps we ought to be aware that in the East, Eastern Hemisphere of the planet, reincarnation is much more widely accepted. And it would certainly answer a lot of the really big questions that we may care to ask such as why would we only have one lifetime to learn everything that we need to learn especially if we have an everlasting life and uh, didn't Jesus use the word everlasting life so if we have an everlasting life part of the no the whole of, of the process of being individual souls as we are and part of a larger soul, perhaps group souls, the soul of the universe ultimately, part of Christ, is that we are uh, coming out into the lower dimensions and working our way back up again, right back up to the Creator. And maybe at this stage what we are is the is the, the, the hands and the eyes and the feelings of Christ. And in the same way that Jesus uh, expressed his own inherent Christhood, that Christ aspect of himself, that's what we are supposed to be doing at the moment and finding that we ourselves are essentially at heart and beyond the Christ energy and we will be expressing our own Christhood at fifth dimensional levels just as Christ did just as Jesus did when he expressed his Christhood so it seems that this is what's happening at the moment and this is what we're being encouraged in so many different ways to do to recognize that we have Christ within us that that is ultimately ultimately and essentially fundamentally who we are and at this time we need to learn to uh, express the fifth dimensional aspect of Christ which essentially is love
this is uh, this is the opportunity. It seems uh, this is the uh, this is in a sense our self-appointed uh, aim. At some sort of level, we uh, we want this. At some sort of level, uh, this is what we have decided to do. Uh, we want to get back to the garden that we can override even this perhaps uh, inherent urge of ourselves to return right back up to the Creator by experiencing and enjoying all the different dimensions that creation offers uh, in whichever way we choose, whichever way we want to, for as long as we want to, and we have uh, complete freedom to be able to do this. So even at this stage where we have an opportunity which may not come again for thousands of years of more reincarnations, we can still choose not to take advantage of the, the opportunity we have now. But this opportunity we have now is, is huge, absolutely vast. And really we ought to know about it. And you may well be asking, if it's so great, if it's so huge, why don't people know about it? Why, why, do, why, why is this not absolutely first and foremost in everybody's minds at this particular time now? Well, that's a big question. And uh, we can look at that um, as we go on.